what up youtube i'm back so i didn't do last week's episode my bad about that but it was a pretty good episode man i really liked it but this week's episode i liked it a lot too so let's get right to it man so today's episode was the beginning of the grand bout so if y'all remember the grand bout is a tournament where the winner will be married to Ruri uh, Kohaku's sister so it's an important tournament but the re one of the reason why they're doing that it's not just to save Ruri but um, the winning prize I guess or the thing that they do after the bout is drink alcohol and they need alcohol to do the medicine to save Ruri you know because right now they don't have al alcohol I guess that maybe they could have found some fruits, some uh, grapes to do alcohol like um, uh, Senku and Taiju did uh, at the beginning of the series, but I guess there's there's, there's not uh, grapes near them, so they have to basically win the tournament and then after that uh, um, have some alcohol to make the medicine, you know, so I'm guessing that's the reason why, but... Um, I'm just wondering, maybe they could have done it another way. Something that I just want to say because I didn't review last week's episode is that Chrome almost died in last week's episode, man. That's crazy. It was a clutch ass save by uh, Ginro, so uh, shout out to him. But uh, something important that uh, Kwaku said, I think, in this week's episode was that... Um, Senku arrived at the village, quote unquote, because he's not he was not really in the village, but he arrived and encountered each other half a year ago. So it's already been half a year ago, man. That's crazy. I'm really wondering what's going on with Taiju and Yuzu, you know, because it's been a while since we've seen them, but half a year ago, man, that's that's really crazy. But uh yeah, that that I think was a pretty important information about Senku. The other most important information about this episode was about Ruri and Senku because something really, really interesting happened, man. This was my favorite part of the episode and the reason for that is that um, Ruri actually knew who Senku was even though they're not from the same generation. You know, she's been born for like maybe uh, 20, 20 years. Senku has been born like thousand of years ago you know but she she knew who senku was and that's probably because she's the priest and she has information that no other villagers has and i think the reason why she knew senku is that um maybe a few years back or the information that she got from the uh previous uh, priestess uh maybe they encountered senku's father you know i don't know but it's pretty interesting man because she was talking about senku's last name and in this civilization they don't have last names you know so she's basically the only one that knows about that right now i think so maybe in previous generation they passed down uh something from senku's father maybe he left a message for from senku or something like that i'm not really sure but she knew senku's last name before she went down because of a illness uh, she was gonna say senku's last name i think it was ishi something so it's pretty interesting man i'm wondering how she got this information like i said my theory about that is that a previous generation encountered senku's father uh, somehow he came out of the stone or maybe he came out at the same time as the first generation from this civilization you know so maybe uh, it's from that but in previous generation uh, he passed down maybe a message for Senku when Senku would wake up from his stone state I don't know but it's really really interesting man I really like that moment of uh, in the episode and I uh, also the moment about that that I really like is that Senku and Ruri finally met you know so that was kind of cool but it was a pretty big info information man I can't wait to know what's going on with that anyway like i said previously in the review it was the grand bout in this week's episode and this was you know the matchups we saw that kinro is actually uh, fighting magma and we're gonna talk about this fight later in the review so um it was an interesting fight but uh, we can see one of the matchup is senku versus kohaku obviously Senku would, would have probably let Kohaku win because she's the strongest one of them all. But uh, something that I want to say is that 
Kohaku wasn't at the tournament for the whole episode, you know, because one of the bad guys from the village told them that uh, Suikia was drowning and obviously uh, they knew that was a lie, but Kohaku just wanted to make sure that it wa- it it really wasn't, you know, so she went and to go see if Suika was actually drowning, you know, because she was worried. So, uh, one of the strongest or the strongest warrior in this tournament right now and is not there, you know. So, that's going to be interesting. Um, obviously, if she's not there for her match, she's going to be disqualified, which means uh, Senku is going <laughs> to go up and fight another match, which isn't really good because he's not a fighter, he's not an athlete. You know, he's just a scientist, you know, so that's not good. But obviously, the guy was uh, lying about Suika. She was actually not drowning. She was just uh, tied up. And she was able with a kind of technique to <laughs> technique to get away from that. I don't, know, I don't know really how. She's really small, I guess. But it was kind of funny. So, Kinro and Magma was the first matchup which I really like compared to Ginro because Ginro wanted uh, Kinro to be fighting Magma later in the tournament, but I really like it because uh, uh, Kinro right now is at full strength, you know, so that's the reason why I like him fighting Magma in the first match. But anyway, they were kind of equal du- during the fight except when you know, uh, Kinro's vision wasn't really good, you know, because he can't see really f- that far, it gets fuzzy, which we, we already knew for like two episodes now, he should have asked Senku to make, you know, some glasses for him, but he didn't, so that actually almost made him lose the match because he couldn't really see well, and you know, Magma took advantage of it and was just kicking his ass off, you know, so... Uh, Su- Suika actually came in clutch with her glasses and threw her mask to Kinro and that was the shot when he had the mask which I think was kind of funny because of his pose but also because of the explosion behind him because obviously there wasn't no explosion but it was kind of funny to me man that that moment right there even though he looks awesome in the mask it was kind of funny. But yeah, after that, Kinro had all the advantages. He was seeing really, really well. So the way that he was fighting was way more efficient. And he was able to, you know, kind of beat Magma. I don't think he's knocked out right now. So the fight might not be over. But we know that uh, Kinro has the advantage right now. So we'll have to see what's going to happen in next week's episode. I don't think it's going to be that easy. I think that maybe... um, Kinro is going to lose to Magma and that Kohaku will come in the clutch maybe to beat uh, Magma or maybe Senku is going to do something amazing or maybe it's Ginro that is going to win, I don't know but it's interesting man so let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to happen in this tournament Uh, I think it's been a really good episode man, ever since um, Senku encountered Kohaku I've been hooked to this show I really liked the show at the beginning too, but since the village arc has started, I've really liked this show, man. It's been an amazing ride. But uh, let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below. Let me know what you think is going to happen next. Let me know what you think is going to happen with um, Ruri and Senku, man, because there's something in there. There's something about Senku that um you know who he knows but we don't know really how you know so i can't wait to know what's going on with that i do dr stone reviews every friday so subscribe for that but i also do other anime related things like black clover reviews on tuesdays fire force and like i said dr stone reviews uh on fridays i don't know if i'm gonna do a fire force review today so stay tuned for that but i also do uh, so, uh, not so that online, my bad. I do One Piece and Kimetsu no Yaiba reviews on Saturday. Uh, tomorrow will be the last episode of uh, Demon Slayer for season one, so stay tuned. I heard that it's gonna be an amazing episode, you know, and it maybe will let us off on a cliffhanger, you know, so. I'm not I'm not ready for that but 
uh, there's two new animes coming to my channel this October. There's uh, Boku no Hero Academia Season 4. It will begin October 12th on a Saturday. So it, I think it's at 6.30 Eastern. So I'm going to review the entirety of the season on my channel. So stay tuned. And uh, uh, another anime that is coming back to my channel is Sword Art Online Alicization War of Underworld. So this is the second part of the Alicization arc. And I can't wait for it because I think it's going to be even better. And uh, the first season was good, you know. So I'm rewarding watching the first season right now to stay fresh till the you know the second part of the season starts there's also the third season of seven deadly sins which i cannot wait to watch uh, it's been a while since i've watched the second season of seven deadly sins i'm not gonna uh, lie I, I i have to get a resume of the season because it's been a while but the last season i think was pretty good it was amazing and i can't wait for this season man because i've heard that the animation will be off the charts and I can't wait to, to know what's gonna happen next, but yeah, man, I think I've said everything that I needed to say. Follow me at Anime Specialist on Twitter and Instagram, and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would help it a lot. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Anime Specialist out. Peace.